Hi, everybody, and happy Tuesday to you. I want to share a story with you about a young boy who's experienced some real difficulty. You know, when children are born into poverty, often they lose their childhood because they're just required to grow up quickly. This young boy was in that situation in a family that had many, many needs in addition to their poverty. But you came into the midst of his need and you gave him hope and a future, an opportunity to dream. We like to say in Orphan's Promise that one of the things we do is teach children to dream again. This is the story of Vitalik and the role you've played in opening that door for him. My name is Vitaly. I'm 12 years old. I was born into a gypsy community. I have lived all my life here. I have two brothers. They were born with disabilities. A few years ago, my father survived an accident. He was hit by a car. He became disabled. His leg had to be cut off. Everyone in my family is disabled, except my mother and I. And it's very hard for her. I help with everything. I wake up, get dressed, collect firewood. I sweep. I prepare the food. This is how I live my every day. But when the night comes, I go to sleep and I have a dream that I am Ronaldo, that I play soccer, score a lot of goals and receive trophies. I used to wake up and for a moment I would forget I live here. I tell myself it was only a dream, a dream that will never come true. My parents do not have enough money for me to play on a team. I lived like this for many years, until we had the people from the Orphan's Promise team come. They built a school, and they began to teach us. We learned to play soccer. But most importantly, I had a coach. I was given a uniform, shoes, a ball. Now I'm training in Mokachevo at a professional school for soccer players. I'm a left-handed striker on a team. Now I can play soccer every day, and it's no longer just a wish in my head. Now I know that my dreams will come true. Thank you for helping me achieve them. I am very happy. On behalf of Vitalik and all the children who are vulnerable that we serve, I want to say thank you. I don't know what the future holds for him, but I know God has a special plan and purpose for his life. Your love, your support, your generosity make all of that possible. Thank you.